Hello again from Amsterdam. We're still at Morningstar's Sustainable Investing Summit 2024, and I'm now joined by Tancred Fulop, Morningstar Senior Analyst for Renewables. And it's been quite a week, hasn't it? Yesterday we got um, a very clear result in the U.S. election, and most stocks rose, but European renewables tanked. Now, of course, um, overnight, then also most of those companies had reported earnings. So, what was the Trump factor in this in this massive decline? Um. The Trump factor was was clearly the the dominant factor in, in the, this big uh, earning uh, share price uh, decline of uh, double digit in um, in some case much more than earnings, which were not ex exceptionally exceptionally good, but not c catastrophic either. Now, in this new situation that those stocks find themselves in, I mean, many are quite exposed to the U.S. Uh, what are your top picks in the sector? So d despite uh, it's after its big big fall yesterday, I I think Orsted is uh, is massively undervalued. So this is a leading offshore global offshore wind leader with some exposure to the US, two offshore wind farms and under construction. The thing is, these two farms uh, got their feder federal approval. That means that uh, Trump cannot block them; they will be commissioned. However, there is some risk regarding the tax credits of these two farms under construction. They have a 30% tax credit plus a 10% bonus uh, investment tax credit, so 40% to total. And this 10% is part of the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, these tax credits are very important for the, for the returns of those two projects. And with Trump, there is a risk that they will lose the 10% the, the bonus. And in a very worst case, that they will lose the full tax credit, which will make this project not profitable uh, at all and, that, and which will have a negative valuation impact. But after the share price fall of yesterday, it's, it is excessively priced in. Any other picks besides Orsted? So Orsted in pure uh, wind renewables developer. Otherwise, I like uh, SSE. So renewables account for uh, less, a big chunk of earnings, but a less than 50%, uh, close to, to f the other 50% uh, comes from the electricity grid, which uh, in the UK, uh, the company has no uh, US exposure. So there will be big investments in the electricity networks and that will boost uh, earnings. Right, so two picks, Orsted and SSE. Um, in the longer term, if demand for renewable energy equipment, for example, uh, an installation declines in the US, uh, can demand in Europe and elsewhere offset this? Yes, uh, so in, in investment opportunities in, uh, in Europe are massive due to the, to the current um, uh, emission target and decarbonization target in place in, in Europe. So you have massive, uh, so that can be offset, yes. Got it. Well, thank you for this, Tancred. Thank you for your top picks in the sector. For Morningstar, I'm Lucas Strobel.